Welcome to Seismic Rocks. My name is David Farrell. Today I'd like to talk about the PERC option in some of the plotting programs. So let's see what we have to work with today. This is the OZ01 data set. This is the number one of the 40 worldwide shot gatherers from OZ Yilmaz. Let's take a look at this with the wiggle trace. Alrighty, so we see data in about a top fifth of this section <clears throat> and uh, weak reflectors going along here and nothing much else below the top half. But let's take a different look at this. Let's go ahead and make the same plot, but this time add the perk parameter. And the perk default is 100. So no value of perk or using perk of 100 is the same thing. In this case, let's go ahead and use 99. Very small difference from 100. Let's compare these. So what we see this time is actually quite a bit of difference. We now have confidence that there are reflectors in the top half of this section. And we even see some some reflector down here at uh, near the bottom, around 4 point, 4.6 seconds maybe. My point is that the perk option is quite valuable. And even a very small perk value, different from the default of 100, can be uh, a great way to do reconnaissance of your data. Whereas not using any perk value at all, perk default of 100, can leave us with a misconception about how much data we have. Let's go ahead and look at that for a second. So let's get the help file for SUXWIGB. And what we see here is in SUXWIGB is that there is no parameter perk defined here. And that's because, as it says here in the help, SUXWIGB is really just a wrapper for the plotting program XWIGB. So let's go ahead and get help for XWIGB and we see more parameters and more and more parameters. Uh, a lot of information here about how to use XWIGB. You know, scrolling up here to take a look at this, we see here perk default 100 percentile for determining clip. Now if we look at the source code for XWIGB for just a moment, uh, around line 315, 320. These are the lines of code for working with PERC. I'm not fluent in reading C, but what I've been able to get out of looking at this is that this uh, XWIGB program looks at the entire input file, finds the largest value, single largest value, minus or negative or positive, and takes that value, divides it by the PERC value, that number then, that output of that division, becomes a scaling factor for every sample, every amplitude in the file. That's how the PERC value is used, according to what I've been able to figure out. Now let's, for comparison here, rather extreme comparison, let's do this again, but this time look at a PERC of 80. And what we see is really a mess. And my point is then that we don't really need uh, much change from 100 to see something, but it's very useful, I think, to do something other than uh, you, uh, not supplying a perk value that is using the default of 100. Well, that's the lesson for today. I thank you for dropping in. Bye-bye.